One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. today with an intermediate banjo lesson we're going to work on a 12 bar blues pattern in the key of a so these 12 bar blues were super popular in kind of early bluegrass some of the first bluegrass instrumentals were basically 12 bar blues with kind of a swing feel so that's what this lesson is going to work on bill monroe had his bluegrass special earl scruggs had his foggy mountain special and i wrote up this little lesson and i'm calling it the banjo land special so it's a great little lesson to work on a 12 bar blues pattern in the key of a it's also kind of a great excuse to to try out some new fancy licks and kind of i like these instrumentals because they're basically kind of a cool good excuse to show off your fancy licks and that's what we're going to do on this lesson i'm going to break down both solos note for note and then show you some more intermediate level backup i would do for this song so i'm not going to spend as much time just breaking down the chords we're going to do some some more kind of bass walks, core walks, moving all over the neck. Again, kind of get you familiar moving all over the neck playing back up in this style. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, mikeheadingmusic.com and grab the full length lesson. You'll get access to watch all the videos and you can download the tabs and the practice tracks. All right, here's the Banjo Land special in the key of A. All right, let's start breaking down this 12 bar blues composition called the Banjo Land Special. So let me play the first five measures, then we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Do that a few times. One more time, real slow. measure one with a pickup this is going to be the pickup to the solo so we're going to play on the and of beat one we're going to hit our our open third string with our index finger of our right hand then we're going to do an open two hammer on the fourth string while playing strings four and one so thumb middle and then open third string with your thumb and then open second string with your index finger so we have let's do that a few times one one let's do that a couple more times one and if you were having trouble with that or you didn't like that another simpler way you could do it is skip the the offbeat pickup and just play the open fourth string open third string and then open second string so it'd be like two three four one that'd be like a simpler way to do it okay so not too hard let's do it one more time one and then we're going to put our first finger up on the second fret of the first string. And this is on this lesson, we're going to break a few of the kind of traditional Scruggs rules. So this is definitely an intermediate level lesson. We're going to do some double middle fingers and double thumbs to kind of create some bounce. So this, has, this lesson has kind of a swing feel, and we'll talk about that as the lesson goes on. But basically what we're going to do here is we're going to play two and open on the first string. And then the open second string. So I'm doing middle, middle, index. Let's do that a few times. And there's still eighth notes, so one and two. And then I'm going to do a three, two pull off on the third string with my thumb in my right hand. And then open third string. And then down to the second fret of the fourth string with my thumb. And then open fourth string with my thumb as well as my right hand. So we have... Don't rush through that pull off. It's kind of like a Terry Bauckham lick that he would do a lot. So it's a, it's a cool, it's got a, a little bit of bounce. The other thing I'd recommend for this lesson, if you're ever in doubt, play just the right hand. So pretend they're all zeros for a second. Get that down. kind 
have a little bit of a bounce and I, or a swing feel. You, you kind of think of it as, I think of like the drum on this, the, the like a drummer playing on a cymbal. Kind of that long, short, short, long kind of feel. And I had a little bit of a drum beat on this practice track as well, so I just encourage you to play along with the practice track and just try and imitate that feel. Don't worry about getting it right away. Get the notes down first and then worry about adding the feel once you've got the notes down. So let's do that one more time. And then for measure three, we're going to go into a, kind of a response lick. So I did two pinches, index and middle finger on the third string and first string, and then down to the second fret of the fourth string with my thumb, and then pinch again. So we have, and it's one and two and. And the, the essence of the lick is really the third string. So we're just pinching, I'm filling it up with a pinch there. So make sure you're not getting too much of your, your middle finger. Make sure you're getting enough of that, that third string with your index finger. That's kind of the melody there. See how that's the melody? Now I'm filling it up with pinches. And then I'm doing and four and. So that's on the and of beat three. So the and of beat two is a quarter note. So you have one and two and three and four and. It's good counting practice. One and two and and four and. Again, do just the right hand if you're having trouble. Pretend they're all zeros. Let's put two and three together. So we have. We're going to use that kind of bouncing idea a lot. Again, I'm kind of adding that little bounce to it too. Try that. Let's do two and three one more time. Now measure four, we're going to go back up to our opening melody line. And then the only difference here is we're going to do a quarter note on beat four instead of doing two. But you could do that, but I'm just throwing you a little variation. And then right here, you're going to put your third finger on the third fret of the fourth string and do two forward rolls, four, three, one. Four, three, T-I. So we have. That's, measure five is also a good spot to put a little bit of that bounce. And that's like a G7 that's going to lead into our C chord that we're going to in measure six. So let's do the first five measures. Here we go. Let's do that a few times. One more time, real slow. C right here, and you're gonna your middle finger is gonna come up to the second string, and you're gonna do thumb on the fourth string, and then pinch strings three and two. So eighth notes there, one and, and then an eighth note rest, and then you're gonna pinch again, and then your third finger or your pinky. I like using my third finger is gonna come down. You're gonna do thumb index on the third string, and then back to that second fret on the fourth string. So you have. just the right hand. So one and and three and four. Let's do five and six. We have and if you're having trouble getting your middle finger up to the, the second string, just practice moving your middle finger back and forth. 
now is tricky for me is getting my middle finger up to the second string. Obviously in Scruggs style, you don't do that too much. But you can get some cool harmonies that way if you do it. Notice I'm kind of just playing a partial C chord too. I'm not, I'm not going into this full C. You could do that and use your pinky. But I don't know, I, I feel like it's easier to use my third finger. It's a little bit stronger for me. Measure seven, open two hammer on on the four string, stay in this position. You're gonna do a forward roll, one and two. So B2 is a quarter note. And then you're gonna end it with that same little lick. So you have. Let's do six and seven, that's, not, that's our C lick. could do measure six uh, twice or measure seven twice as well if you liked one of those better than the other but it's just kind of a two measure C lick now measure eight we're back to our kind of bouncing melody lick so we've done basically that same thing just a slight variation on the end so we pinch it the same way to start it and then right here, open third string on and of beat three, and then double thumb the fourth string. So you have. That double thumb is very classic, kind of J.D. Crow or Terry Balcom. It really adds that bounce. He would really double thumb that, that kind of thing a lot when he wanted to play that bounce. And then nine is a variation. 